Uh, Mr. Chipman, a minute ago, uh, Senator Whitehouse asked you if any of your views on guns are out of step with the majority of the American people. Um, they are, the AR-15 is one of, if not the most popular rifle in America. It's not a machine gun, it's a rifle. Uh, your public position is that you want to ban AR-15s, is that correct? Senator, uh, thank you for the question, and thank you for our visit yesterday and offering me a Dr. Pepper. It made me reminisce about my time in Central Texas. But now to your uh, question. Uh, with respect to the AR-15, uh, I support uh, a, a ban as, um, as has been presented um, in uh, a Senate bill. Uh, and supported by the president. Um, the AR-15 is a gun I was issued on ATF's SWAT team, and it's a particularly lethal weapon, um, and regulating it as other particularly lethal weapons um, I have advocated for. Um, as ATF director, if I'm confirmed, I would simply enforce the laws on the books, and right now um, there is no such uh, ban on those guns. So you want to ban the most popular rifle in America? Uh, a min uh, Mr. Chipman, a minute ago, uh, Senator Whitehouse asked you if any of your views on guns are out of step with the majority of the American people. Um, they are, the AR-15 is one of, if not the most popular rifle in America. It's not a machine gun. It's a rifle. Uh, your public position is that you want to ban AR-15s. Is that correct? Senator, uh, thank you for the question, and thank you for our visit yesterday and offering me a Dr. Pepper. It made me reminisce about my time in Central Texas. But now to your uh, question. Uh, with respect to the AR-15, uh, I support uh, a, a ban as, um, as has been presented um, in uh, a Senate bill uh, and supported by the President. Um, the AR-15 is a gun I was issued on ATF's SWAT team and it's a particularly lethal weapon, um, and regulating it as other particularly lethal weapons um, I have advocated for. Um, as ATF director, if I'm confirmed, I would simply enforce the laws on the books, and right now um, there is no such uh, ban on those guns. So you want to ban the most popular rifle in America. Uh, a minute ago, and, and you noted there is a Senate bill, Senator Feinstein had a bill, uh, to ban some 2,000 specified rifles and, and other firearms in her bill. In 2013, the Democrats had a majority in the Senate. It was the Harry Reid Senate. And we voted on the Senate floor on Senator Feinstein's so-called assault weapon ban. Do you know how many senators voted for it? No, I do not. Forty. Sixty voted against it. So in a Democratic Senate, a supermajority voted against a ban. Now, part of the reason they voted against the ban, as you're aware is during the Clinton administration, there was a ban in effect. The Department of Justice studied the effect of that law and discovered that it had no measurable impact on violent crime. Is that right? Senator, um, I did enforce this law for 10 years as an ATF agent. Um, I'm unfamiliar with um, the study that you, you are pointing out, and I apologize for that. Well, when you and I met in my office last night and discussed it, I asked if there are any data to suggest that the ban was effective. And, and what you said in the office is you, you were not aware of any data that the data was, I think, mixed is the term you used. Yeah, yes, Senator. Um, what I said to you I, yesterday, you've accurately stated it. Um, I, I think it was mixed, which, um, you know, I stand by that remark. And I think my recollection is that uh, evidence was shown that the limitation on magazine size had an impact. I also believe that later studies showed that the use of assault weapons in mass shootings had declined during that period. Um, but, uh, you know, that, that's how I would like to characterize my views on that. So you also said when you and I talked yesterday in the office that Senator Feinstein's bill, which a supermajority of senators voted against in a Democratic Senate, you said that bill didn't go far enough and you wanted an even broader ban to ban you, you said it didn't go far enough. Is that right? Um, Senator, thanks for that question and the ability to, to clarify. What I did say is that Senator Feinstein's bill 
uh, did not um, address uh, those firearms um, that are currently in the possession of Americans. And then I did share with you my view as an advocate, which would be quite different than someone actually enforcing the law in the books, that those firearms could be treated uh, uh, under the NFA and regulated that way, which would deal with those currently in the possession of Americans. So when you say it didn't go far enough, you mean that you don't just want to ban the manufacturer of those rifles. You don't just want to make it illegal to sell those rifles, but you want to actively have government go after the people who currently possess firearms. And if they don't register and submit to all of the onerous restrictions of the National Firearms Act, presumably confiscate their weapons? Senator, um, what I've said publicly is that uh, as an advocate, uh, I prefer a system where the AR-15 um, and other assault weapons are regulated under the National Firearms Act. Uh, let me sh shift.